Welcome to Letter Lancers, or at least the uh, prologue, which is just the glorified demo in this game, and it will be linked in the description below. And if it's not there, feel free to help me in the comments below. I have been known to misplace a link to these uh, sorts of games, so, um, yeah, there's that. So, this is also one of those games uh, where the controller is apparently the best method, so I guess grab your Xbox controller or whatever have you. Mm. And, um, another thing to note is that it actually supports 16x10 monitors, like my laptop. That's, uh, an issue. Sometimes, so, um, let's just get right into this, um, Archer, Necromancer, Warrior, Wizard, um, let's go ahead and screw around with the Archer. Because why not? Okay, A is dash, that's his ability, left, uh, and right trigger is uh, rotate the weapon. And I didn't read the uh, other ones in time, so, um, hmm. Don't know if I appreciated that one. With that little time that the game uh, gave us to uh, learning controllers. Hmm. Where was the dash button? Because if anything, I need a dash. Oh, it's A. Right. It's A. Is dash. Okay, so that's the water, and I don't want to go uh, in there. So I am hopefully uh, dealing with the enemies uh, in a timely fashion. And Survey says yes. Mm, multi hit mastery, multi hit one, multi hit chance uh, goes up by 15%, cooldown re uh, reduction 10%. Hmm, base damage goes up by 4, attack range goes down by 10%. Bow weapon mastery damage plus 30%, attack range plus 8%, critical hit chance plus 2%. That sounds like fun. For me. Anyway, so let's get on this one. And, uh, yeah, X. Hmm. Loot. So, attack shield, strike target hitting all in its path, uh, set a trail, spawn a trail at your enemy's feet that deals damage to enemies every five seconds. Sure can shoot one projectiles one time. On final contact, projectile returns in an arm towards the player, being infinite pierce on the way back. Flame Aura. Deal damage to all enemies around the player. I think I like that one. Yoink. And onwards to the next floor. I hope there's some way of healing. So, this floor has 94 enemies and um, no real time limit, I see. Hmm. Yep, that Flame War was a good pick. Because, uh, look at all those enemies die rapidly. Hmm. Let's see now. Right, I don't know why I couldn't dash right then, but I couldn't. And I think that needs to be sorted out. Who knows, that might actually be a bug. And maybe I should learn how to save my uh, dashes. Hmm, for when I actually need them. Okay, so the strolls on the ground are where the enemy spawns in, so that's good to know. And hopefully I'm not on, and well, hopefully the enemies can't spawn right underneath the player because um, that would be unfair. So let's just grab you, cause that's health. Hmm. Yeah, I really need to find some way of embedding the uh, flame or as a fat, so I can just get multiple of these enemies at once. And, um, yeah. Seems to be a good upgrade. Aurora Weapon Mastery, damage 30% increase, attack range at 8% increase, critical hit chance 2%. Pierce Mastery, Pierce plus 1. Double distance, plus 15% chance to double attack range, attack range up by 10%, and, um, let's see, now... I think I'll take the Aurora Weapon Mastery. Yoink! Butt shot, spread shot, one bullet size multiplier goes up by 10%. Uh, time, minus 10%. Rejuvenate health uh, goes up by 12. Health regen goes up by 1. Health regen, uh, tick goes up by uh, uh, 0.12. Area Mastery, area size 25%. Base damage goes up by 1. Critical hit chance goes up by 3. Cooldown reduction. Minus 10. I'll take that one. Because, uh, yeah, I was, uh, looking for one of those, so, um, what does this do? 
Well, I know what that did. That, uh... Wasted a, uh, dash. And, oh yeah, it's the bar at the bottom and the feet of the character. Onwards and upwards. Healing fountain. Okay, so that just gave us a flat heel, so, um, that's good. Onwards to the next floor. Or at the room. And, um, hmm. Let's see, now, yep. Flame Roar is definitely way bigger. And that's a good thing. Now, if only I can uh, light the enemies on fire from much farther away, and not do that. Because I just cost myself 20 years off my life in this game. Oh dear. Time to dodge the arrows. Like, so. Hmm. I really need to find some way of uh, increasing my regen rate. Right? I know there is an upgrade for that, but, um, I basically used it on the Aurora. So, um, yeah. Oh dear. Try not to die to these on this floor, because um that would be a rather short run. But oh well. At least you'll get the gist of this game. Oh eh, dear. Yep. Let's see now. Oh, why is details? Mm hmm. Let's see now. I am nowhere on this. Oh boy. Hmm. I wonder why the uh, game isn't uh, reading, just reading my Steam username. That, but oh well, maybe in a future update. So let's just try this one again, and hmm. I'm thinking Necromancer this time. Yep, A is dash, and L is move. Okay, so I see we're just straight up sending minions after, uh, the enemies, and that's a good thing for us, since I don't have to do anything except stay out of the way of the enemies. So that's a different play style, so that's good. Yeah, all these characters have different play styles, but I'm pretty sure anybody could have figured that one out. Hmm. Let's see, now... And thumbnail screenshot. So, let's just run around, and this is uh, one where I might not have to uh, rapidly increase my movement speed. And there goes the floor. Health goes up by 25, uh, Blade Weapon Mastery. And I think that's for the minions, yeah, it is for the minions. Damage goes up by 30%, attack range goes up by 8%, and, um, you know the rest. And projectile mastery is projectile mastery. Bullet speed multiplier. Increased by 25% and bullet size multiplier increased by 10%. I'm gonna take the blade weapon mastery. Yoink! Onwards and upwards. Okay, so let's grab the treasure. On sword. Zombie enforcer summon a zombie enforcer that chases at 6.25 uh, movement speed. Sundial shoots uh, one projectile one time. And cannon. Shoot one projectile one time, it explodes on contact, uh, can shoot while moving. Yeah, I got a bit of a speech impediment, that's what happened there. Hmm, I'll take the zombie enforcer since, uh, that's the theme of this run. His minions only. At least I decided that's the theme of this run. Using my executive powers as the, uh, person who is making this video. And the rest of you don't get a say in that. Hmm. So I guess you're gonna be along for this ride whether you like it or not. So, um, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, uh, support me in the algorithm with the engagement, uh, from that. At least I think that's how that works. I'm not sure if that's actually true. So I guess we're gonna have to test that out. And, um, yeah. Let's see now. So, um, I guess we're gonna be running around, uh, like a chicken with her head cut off. And, um, making sure we don't end up, uh... Getting in run over uh, this soon. Okay, time to use a dash. Since um, that's what that's for. Hmm, I wish there's some way of sprinting. I'm sure there probably is. So... Right, just gotta let the minions catch up to me and there goes all the enemies. 
Time mastery, time, uh, increased by 20%, damage increased by 20%, attack range, uh, does down by 10%. Poison proficiency, zombie enforcer summon, after summons, uh, goes up by 1, multi-hit goes up by 1, multi-hit chance goes up by 5%, cooldown reduction goes down by 15%. Let's go take that one. Fierce mastery, dark element mastery, base damage goes up by... Cooldown reduction goes, uh, goes up by 5%, area size uh, goes up by 15 Hmm, now take the Dark Element Mastery for the minions. So I think that's what that's for. And, um, hmm, let's see now. Onwards and upwards. And here's the healing room that I like. That's room, please. And here they come. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to run away from the bows, but I think those should be uh, fairly easy to deal with. I really wish there was some way of rapidly increasing my minion count, just so I have enough to uh, throw at the enemy. Just so I don't end up getting game over screen. No, let's uh, actually take the background thumbnail uh, for this uh, video right here. Okay, didn't mean to walk right into the enemies, but somehow I did. Hmm. Right, so now there's a boss. Okay, time to stay on my feet and just keep running around in circles. Yep, this is a gameplay. I see they have uh, actually gone with it. Okay, time to run away. Hmm. I've got one more dash and um, minions. Where are you? All right, over here. Oh dear. Hopefully I can survive this one, and I actually did. I don't even know how I survived that one. Gas goes up by one, zombie warrior multi. Mm, multi hit goes up by one, multi hit chance goes up by 15%, damage goes up by 50%. Hmm, zombie splash. Uh, well, zombie warrior splash. Splash size multiplier goes up by 20%. Splash damage multiplier goes up by 30%. Critical hit chance goes up by 3%. I think I'm just going to yoink that one. Please and thank you, game. Oh boy, there's two doors. So there's a shop. Uh, oh, there's something indicating a heart there, and that's a shop. Let's go with the heart one. Or rather, the atomically correct heart. And that's a healer. I needed that, desperately. Honored to fight, uh, room 7. Okay, now there's spikes on the grounds, and that's gonna be all sorts of fun to dodge. Okay, minions, uh, time to destroy all the, uh, projectile spitters in this, um, floor. Okay, I probably should have taken a dash. Or maybe something to increase my movement speed, so, um, I actually have that, uh, to help me out. And my goal of surviving this run. I don't think I'm gonna survive this run. Yeah, because I think this is uh, meant really more for a multiplayer main. Well, guess who is doing this solo? Yeah, me. Oh well, it is what it is. And I guess you're just gonna have to watch me suffer through this. Oh dear. Hmm, let's just dodge the projectiles like so, and uh, get out of the way of the enemies like so, and not die. Hmm, I really wish there was some way of uh, getting out of the uh, room earlier, and I just took a hit, and um, I'm not on for this world. How lovely. Time to dodge that. I probably should have taken the dashes. Yeah, those dashes would have came, come in handy right now. And yep, called it, didn't make it pass. Hmm. Let's see now. So yeah, that was Letter Lancers. Links for the stream will be in the description below. And I guess I will see you in the next one on Wednesday, 4 p.m. Mountain Time, U.S. So um, before I go, let's uh see what's in the upgrades. Um, hmm, dash, 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 distance, area radius, time, splash radius, multipliers, critical strike, damage multiplier, player movement speed, meaning movement speed, ability damage, uh, melee damage, range damage, uh, magic damage, dagger base damage, play, and um, yeah, a whole lot of damages. Hmm. So yeah, that's what's in the upgrade section. 
Anyways, also, if you want to support the uh, channel, there'll be a link to my Trophy in the description below where you can get uh, your name on the Trader stream for as little as a dollar a month, and it really does help me out, and I do appreciate it whenever you decide to uh, charge a spare dollar my way. So, I guess I'll see you in the next one. I know that one, Josh. Bye.